Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. Okay, Eamon Toland is, is on the line. Eamon, good afternoon. Hello, Joe. Eamon, you, you're quite... I know you're involved in the mathstutor.ie, but you say maths, right. uh, Project Maths is here to stay, so we have to learn ways to help people get through the exams. That's right. You know, I think there's, there's a bit too much uh, negativity about Project Maths at the moment, Joe, and that's really not, uh, you know, helping the students. I think it's a disservice to Irish students who are doing exams. And really, I would say to the critics, what are you doing to actually help those students? Go ahead, yeah. So, I mean, instead of just criticising, I think it's it's important that um, you you're, know, you're, you're we saying, put things in place. You're saying it's not going to change. John Brennan well, and Brenda Gilday and all the other critics can sing for their supper. It ain't going to change. Well, I respect what they say. And, you know, Project Maths may well change in the future or it may evolve into something else. But for the moment, you know, we've got uh, over 50,000 people who are sitting there leaving cert in less than 100 days. Yeah. And um, we're here to support them with the mathstutor.ie. And what, did you just access that? Sorry, Joe? They just access the website, is it? Yeah, they can go on the website and they can um, they can learn about Project Maths through video lessons and interactive exercises. OK, stay there for a second, Eamon. Sean, Sean there, Sean and Cork. Sean, good afternoon. How are you doing? Good old, John. And you're a retired maths teacher, Sean. Yes. And um, what do you think of Eamon's point there? Listen, this is all negativity. Don't be complaining about this. Uh, we're only panicking students. Well, this was all predicted about seven or eight years ago when, when Project Match was first mooted. And uh, fortunately, I retired before it was implemented on the ground. But I remember going to the in-service courses, and I remember practically, you know, practical teachers who had been teaching for you know, 30, 40 years pointing out the difficulties in how this would be implemented. And in theory, it's very good, learning for understanding and all of that. Mm-hmm. But I remember clearly the reservations of the teachers just being brushed aside. And, you know, you, you did, you know if, if you didn't join in and clap handies and get excited about it, mm-hmm. you were being cynical. And yet people had very, very real reservations. For example, the old way of teaching, let's mm-hmm. say, area, let's say the area of a square or something, yeah. like length by width, and that gave you the area. The modern way would be to go out measuring the schoolyard, and you measure the length of the schoolyard, and you measure the width of the schoolyard. But you could imagine being out there now with 30, 25, 30 kids on a day like today trying to do that and trying to keep order. It would just break down. And where did the idea from Project Maths come from, then? I'm not exactly sure. All I do know is that it came from outside. And, like, one of the things that amuses me about teaching is that like, Joe, you've been broadcasting for years and years, so one would assume that after so many years you'd know something about broadcasting. Or if I went away as a ship <clears throat> captain mm-hmm. and I brought ships in and out of harbours for years and years, one would assume that I'd know something about how to control ships and dock them safely. But the funny thing about teaching is that the longer you're at it, the less you appear to, to know. And I think the, the big problem so, so was... What's the, what's the solution? Now? How, how do we help the students? That's the important thing rather than just criticising, you know, Project Maths. You know, for example, we've actually published uh, an exam guide uh-huh. called Maximise Your Maths Grade. Yeah. And we've made that available to students. It's, it's exam technique in the context of Project Maths. And the mathstutor.ie has made that available free of charge. We'll even post it out to students. Right. So that's something positive that we're doing okay. as well as our online system. Okay. Like, what I'm mainly interested in is in the process of change from one thing mm. to another. And you well, have... I mean, that's, that's really interesting from an academic point of view, but what do you say to the people who are sitting their exams in, in 100 days' time? I have nothing to say to the kids, fortunately, anymore, who are sitting doing exams anymore. But to dismiss something as academic, I think, is a bit disingenuous. The way change is brought about must incorporate the workers on the ground and that was not done it was imposed it was pushed and if you didn't agree with it you were pushed aside and very often you had people who couldn't wait to get out of the classroom uh, delivering it like we used to call them abts like you know the way it is anybody but manchester united they would do anything but teach 
and you had a lot of people who had lost touch with the classroom imposing this new way of doing things on teachers who then had to carry it back into the classroom. So what interests me really was the way the change was brought about. And I think the lesson we could learn is if you want to bring a change about among a group of workers, you have to consult them, you have to take on board genuinely what they're saying and incorporate it into the change process. Now, do you keep in touch with your, your colleagues who are still teaching, Sean, I teaching do. math? And what I are do. they saying about Project Math? They, they see it as an imposition. You know, I mean, uh, mm. the people I would... This, this is the problem, Joe, that there's a negative message coming from teachers and from, from some teachers. But not without from, reason. from parents. Well, I respect that, Sean, but, I mean, you know, that's giving the wrong message to students that, you know, let's just give up here and... Uh, you know, it's a bad syllabus, so therefore let's not engage with it. Those students don't have that luxury, and that's why, you know, we at MathsTutor.ie have set up our system to support them. Great. Sorry, Joe, can I cut in there as well? I mean, uh, my Marvel, son is yeah. doing the Leaving Cert, and, I mean, there's very little in the line of previous exam papers, sample papers, solutions to work off. You know, the seems have gone ahead and implemented this without having the backup facilities there to help both the teachers and the students. Okay. Yeah, well, just, well, in a way, know. they did have the in-service. In fairness to the department, the in-service was provided because I attended quite a few. I retired in 2008, and this was introduced 2006 and 2007. But my point was that when people, teachers who I respected, who I'd worked with for years, stood up with 20, 30, 40 years' experience and said, there's a problem here, you need to adapt this, it wasn't listened to at all. It was just pushed in and imposed. And I'm saying that if you continue to tinker around with the education system by imposing things from outside, this is what you get. OK. Mm. Well, I also take, and, and I'm, I'm very conscious of this, uh, and uh, Eamon Toda makes that point, that the MathsTutor.ie has a f uh, free uh, guidelines you can access on the site. Killian Fahey made the same point about... Uh, grindsonline.ie and all of it is free as far as I know. Uh, thanks, in, thanks indeed, Sean. Thanks, Eamon. Thanks, we'd Margaret. We'd be happy to um, send out a booklet as well, Joe, um, to any of your listeners okay. about exam technique for Project Maths. OK, and, but the uh, thing is thing is not to be afraid of it, not to bury your head in the sand, to find out more and more information about it. And the thing, I think, that the debate over the last two days has shown is that a lot of people are concerned about it. And that, as Grace pointed out earlier, took her from her isolation where her daughter felt she was the only one and Grace felt her daughter was the only one but discovered that there's a broad swathe and that would help people face up to it. Don't run away from it. Thanks indeed. Thanks.